Hi everyone, Cheeky Tam here and Tim. G'day all. Today, thanks to Brian, we have a box of treats from the UK. We've got some interesting things to try in this today. Hello Tam and Tim, here's some more stuff from the UK. I put in a tin of Irish stew. Ooh, it's for Tim, so it reminds him of Ireland. And I've put some stuff in for the cats. Hope you enjoy it. Got the cat food. Tim loves a bit of cat food. <laughs> I think in one of the taste tests, you said that your family's from Ireland, but Tim himself has never been to Ireland. You don't know what's in my genetics. It could yeah, it could just go it could oh. flash some memory out. So there's also food for the cats. Four flavours, is that correct? That sounds almost good enough to eat. Give it a go then, sweetie. Let's hope they like some of them, or all of them would be great. So let's do a UK taste test. Okay, we'll do oh, those oh, first. But I don't think we've tried this flavour, or did we? I don't know. Oh no. We've tried poppables, a couple of flavours. But I don't think we tried the cheddar cheese it doesn't matter, I'm These are by Walker. Have a look, yes. They are beautiful and light and airy, crispy snacks. Oh! Oh, they're really cherry. Mm. They're nice, aren't they? Top of the list. Can we like these? I love them. Mmm! <laughs> Tim just went, mmm, and it says poppables. That makes you go, mmm. Mmm! <laughs> they're really, really cheesy. They're mm. really salty, yet they're light and airy and fluffy. Oh, I savory. love these. I bet you did. Your pile. I love them. Can eat those tonight watching Dexter. Mm. <laughs> Let us know in the comments below what series you're into at the moment. Give us some suggestions. Series you're into. Series. TV series. Oh, TV, sorry. <laughs> Next we have Walker's Bungles. Oh no, Buggles. Bungles. Bugles. 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 Walker's Bugles, fun shape, tasty crunch. Southern style barbecue flavor. They have bugles in America. That's what they look like. I like little ice cream cones. Ta-da. That really suits you. I want that to be a permanent thing though. <laughs> if your fingers were smaller, you could put like their big fingernails, like little witch's fingernails. And I think that's what people suggested that they do. I think Tammy likes these too. She's gone off in the happy land. <laughs> How nice are they? So good. Mm. Mm. Wow. Mm, mm. It's perfect for the whole family to share, Tam. No, just take it's perfect just for me. <laughs> They've got a lovely barbecue flavor. Mm. It's really nice because so often that tastes a little bit artificial, that barbecue mm. flavor, but this one's mm. very good. And they're a nice, light, crisp snack. And they're made of what? They're good for you. There's no MSG, there's no preservatives, there's no artificial colours, and it's suitable for vegetarians. Are they good for you, really? Yeah. I don't believe that. Saying the taste that good can't be good for you. Is it corn or wheat? Sunflower oil, barbecue seasoning, mm -hmm. maize. Wheat. Corn. Maize. <laughs> Maze. <laughs> Come on. Very nice. Recommend them. Next up, we are going to try the Irish stew. This is lunch, honey. Lunch. Mm, how do you feel about this one? Tender chunks of beef and mutton. What? Mutton? Yeah, it's lamb. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're thinking mutton bird. <laughs> <laughs> Tender chunks of beef and mutton in a chunky vegetable casserole. <laughs> Isn't mutton old meat? No. What? Just, just old sheep. I've often heard people saying mutton dressed up as lamb. Yeah, it's just an old sheep. Not good enough to have a bake, but it's good enough for a casserole oh. or a stew. This is made by Grant's, your son's name. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Oh, I don't know. That's what it looks like. Uh, it could be okay. All right. Once you heat it up, All right. the instructions say. Heat it, eat it. Let's go have lunch. It's got carrots, it's got onions, it's got mutton, and it's got beef. It's got some sort of a brown, thick sauce. Oh, wow. It kind of looks a little bit like a dinner that someone's already had. Oh, there's potato in there. Oh. Of course there's potato in there if it's Irish, Tam. It's nice chunky bits of potato too. Tim actually loves potato in things. Potato and I love rice. So that's from your Irish heritage and your Chinese heritage. Yeah, my great great grandfather was Chinese, guys. Can you believe it? And I've got some bread to go with our Irish yeah. stew. I don't know what's with this bread, bro. Look at that. Must have dropped it on the ground, it's in the oven. 
Serves one, but I'll let you have a little bit. Where does it say it? Well, we've got bread to go with it. We're debating on what size plates to put it in. They're too well, big. Okay, you see in and they're so deep. Yeah, but you show the people, you go, hello. Well, the only other bowls we've got are the cat food bowls. <laughs> I'm not eating out of the cat food bowls. This will be interesting for my sister who I'm hoping is watching in America. She came and stayed one time. They were sitting down already eating some breakfast with the kids and they were using these. I didn't have the heart to tell her that these were actually the cat food bowls. But she's going to know now, isn't that something special? <laughs> It's a crockery bowl, but we wash it. It's just that we associate these with the cat bowls. Let us know if you do the same thing in your household. You eat out of your pet's bowls. <laughs> Time to serve up. A big piece of mutton for Tam. No. That's your bowl. It's potato for Tim. Oh, it's going to be all potato. A little potato. piece of potato but for Tim. I'd rather vegetable than meat. You know that. No, you've got to try it, hon. Don't give me all mutton, bird. <laughs> How nice does that look? Oh, you master chef it. Hello. Stew time. Mm. Potato is very nice. Mm. I think it tastes quite good for a canned product. It's not too bad. It's quite soupy. Yum. It's got potato and carrot, barley or something in it, hasn't it? Yeah, it's definitely got barley in it. You can taste that. It's got mutton. What's that beef? It's very simple flavourings to it, but it's not overly salted or spicy or anything like that. Yeah. Would you buy it again? I would. Can you buy it here? No. Mm, the bread's nice. Works nicely with it. Better than I thought this was going to be. I don't mind the vegetables in it. They're not as flavourful as if you made your own stew. I just don't know about the meat in it. Not bad. You could live on it. Oh, nice. look at that. Tim's almost eating it all. Mm. He does like it. For an instant product, it's pretty good. If you were in a bunker and you had many, many cans of this, you'd be really, really happy. Do you feel in touch with your heritage now, your Irish heritage? I now feel like I'm complete. So today I have a chicken Purina food, gold savoury cake. I don't know why they call it a cake. It's nothing like a cake. Hissy's already here. She's ready. Here comes Buffy. They know. Okay, can you not? Does anyone want some cake? Yep. That's empty. No. I just, oh, there you go. Does that look good to you, Hissy? No. Buffy, you want some? Try it. Oh. Okay, thank goodness. Okay, so Buffy likes it. Hissy. Are you going to try it? Oh, look at her eating so elegantly with her face. Yes, put it on the paving. That would be fantastic. Well, she really loves that. Yum. Wow. It, this is probably going to be the most disgusting thing you'll see on YouTube today. Hissy? Oh, no. Sometimes when Hissy gets a face in there, Buffy gets a paw and puts it in front of her to get some food out. Huh? So the chicken one is a winner. Perina gold casserole. All ready to go. Really keen for the taste test today because they love last one so much. It looks red. I don't know exactly what is involved in this casserole. Probably bits of beef or something. Come on girls. Okay, Hissy is straight into it. Buffy is licking the lid okay that's probably not great she obviously likes it oh come on i don't want you cutting your little mouth try this out of the bowl like a normal cat come on okay we've had success they both love the casserole one yum 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 today they are trying perina gourmet and this one is chicken and salmon in gravy wow oh geez. I think Hissy, yes, she's already here waiting. She knows. I might just feed them up. Oh, sorry, I kicked, I kicked her. She was right under my feet, the rotten little thing. Yeah, off you go, cockies. Oh, Hissy was waiting for this. Yes, uh, I. <laughs> oh no. She's more interested in getting it pat. Hissy, do you want to try it? Come on, give it a go. Oh, hello, Buffy. Chicken and salmon. Oh, nice. Okay, they both love this one. Fantastic. Success. That's the sound of a rosella. He's up there in the tree. There's a cocky right there. Buffy looks very happy right now. Farina gourmet with ocean fish. And they're both ready because they're lurking around. They know when dinner time is. There's Buffy. There's Hissy. 
Does it smell Doesn't disgusting? Doesn't that look appetizing? <laughs> then we're gonna love it. Oh, she's coming. She can smell it. Ocean fish. Meow. On cue, Buffy. I know, sweetie. It's coming. So, let's see. Oh, Buffy loves it. She's straight into it. She's a big fan of this one. Oh goodness me, slow down, slow down. Yeah, you'll vomit. <laughs> Hissy, are you gonna have a go? Can I have some piss? Yeah, you may just pick her up and put her near the food, honey. Oh, jeez. Okay, Hissy. come on, Hissy. She can't make it herself. It's, it's dinner time. Mummy says, I gotta feed you. Yeah. She's straight into it. I don't know why she didn't walk over to it today. Because she was waiting for me to carry her. Ocean fish, it's a winner. Okay, the bowl pour in front of the face trick. Next up, we have some biscuits, some cookies, and these ones are by Cadbury. Double chocolate delight. Yum. Yeah. Double chocolate. And there's seven, not six, but seven. Oh, that's huge. Oh, oh, one's had an issue. Been heat affected, guys. That's your one. <laughs> but they've all been bloomed and they're stuck together, so we're just gonna have to oh, make, no. make the most of it. There's yours. <laughs> Side. Yeah. Not, oh, I've said they're cookies and biscuits and they're not. They're not, they're like they're, a sponge. It's a cake. <laughs> uh oh. Hmm. You got three. <laughs> That's what they're like inside. They're very tasty, I like them. I reckon if the chocolate hadn't bloomed and gone all crumbly, yeah. they'd be very nice. Mmm. 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 So it's like a vanilla sponge cake thing coated into this really thick chocolate. The chocolate is really nice despite it's bloomed. You can taste that it. it is good. It's a nice Cadbury chocolate. And then it's got a chocolate cream filling in the middle. And then you've got an extra one underneath. <laughs> Look at Tim's one. Look at my one. <laughs> They're nice. Mm. Really like good. Them. Yum yum. Thank you so much, Brian, for sending us all of these treats and snacks. Really do appreciate it. And if everyone in the comments below could please thank Brian, because without him, this taste test would not be possible. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Really do appreciate it. Have a fantastic week. We'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks, Brian. Do you want to do the other bit that have a fantastic week thingy? No. <laughs> <laughs> Honey. <laughs>